Anyway, it's time for the best part of the show where we use Skype to connect with the Mixer Partner. And this week we're connecting with Nomad. Nomad. There he is. Nomad, what's up, up man? Nomad? Okay. Yes. There we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank absolutely. you for stopping by yeah. our tiny little show. Yeah, our, our humble program. <laughs> our humble program. Uh, before we jump in, Nomad, we oh, like to... Uh, Oh yeah, <laughs> we uh, we like to we like to let you talk about yourself to maybe the people that don't know who you are. So mm -hmm. why don't you give a quick run through of like who you are and what what your streams about? All right. Um, well, my name is Randy Fitzgerald. Um, I started playing games when I was like three. Uh, born in '79, so I've been pretty much around since the dawn of the gaming industry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a dinosaur in the gaming industry. Uh, <laughs> no, but. Um, in 2007, I started competing uh, MLG for uh, Rainbow Six uh, Vegas and Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Um, gained pro status playing that, and then um, I won the Dead or Alive 5 tournament at E3 2013. Wow. Unmodified Xbox controller. I'm the only one in the world who can play that way with an unmodified uh, device. Um, I turn the controller sideways, 90 degrees, where my chin hits the left analog stick and my top lip hits the A, B, X, Y buttons and the corner, bottom right corner of my right mouth is where I use the right stick and I reprogram the buttons, the triggers to my thumb click. So when I click down with my chin on the left stick, it actually pulls my right trigger. Oh. So, uh, that's super yeah, interesting. Yeah, I know that was a lot. I'm sorry, guys. No, no, that's uh, super interesting, actually. That's like, I, I I, can't believe it. Like, to be honest, it, I've watched you play Fortnite, and it's ridiculous how good you are. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and it, it, yeah, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like, especially on Xbox, I know a lot. We, ha we have, like, features like Copilot, which allow you to use, you know, two controllers for one input. And it's just a, a testament to how much, you know, we've come, how far we've come for, with ease of access controls yeah. on so many different platforms. So it, it's awesome. And I wish I was nearly as good as you in any game <laughs> so that I could compete on a, on a good level, but sadly, no thanks. I'll train you. I'll train you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, You're fair. so hard on yourself, Malik. You're not that bad. No, Matt, you, that. You, you've only been on the platform a few weeks now. Uh, how have you been enjoying Mixer so far? Uh, it's, it's like nine days. It's a breath of fresh air, to be completely honest. Um, I was, well, technically still am, partner streamer on Twitch, but... Um, I've been having some problems with Twitch, and uh, a friend of mine actually works there, a mixer. I'm going to give her a shout out, Lady Off Hair, Tara. Nice, uh, yeah, Tara. Uh, she, Tara. Yeah, Tara. Yeah, yeah. Her and I. With Tara. Uh, no, <laughs> I've been I've been friends with her for years, and we've done projects in the past with uh, gamers uh, accessibility for for gamers with disabilities, and um, she introduced me to the rest of the mixer staff, and uh, ever since I've been doing. Uh, not only projects with Mixer, I've been uh, working on the side for Mixer, doing things, also doing other projects for Microsoft, and so um, so it's been great. I've been I've been doing some really awesome things with the uh, Mixer Interactive um, that I think is going to really help other gamers with disabilities. Yeah. Ooh. That's awesome. Well, thank yeah. You're part of this. You're part of the family now, and it's so awesome that that we're working towards getting to a place where you know the every, mix streaming and uh, playing games is accessible for everyone. And I'm also happy to hear that you're loving Mixer, just selfishly. Maybe yeah, I'm not. No, no, it's right. Uh, no, well, the yeah, the community has just been absolutely phenomenal. They've been super accepting. I've streamed like five times, and I'm almost up to like two thousand followers. Ooh, you know, uh, dang. Thank you, thank you. Yes, so it's, it's uh, <laughs> so it's been a blast. It's been a really good time. I mean, I mean, getting into hype zone actually on Fortnite helps a lot because oh. almost every time I play Fortnite, I'm getting into hype zone. So they're like, "Oh my god, is this guy playing with his face? What is going on?" You know? Yeah. And so then I, then I get yeah. to explain to them how I'm playing. And yeah. Yeah. It's pretty so you, awesome. You explained how you play. Um, it, 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 I said I, I had mentioned that I watched you play, and you've actually haven't you won in the hype zone? I feel like you have. Mm -hmm. I've won. Well, the first, the first, like four or five times I was in high zone, I won all five, and then, Ooh. but I, I'm what I've been getting the high zone curse the last week or so. Yeah. <laughs> I keep yeah. getting it like second, fourth, fifth, you know, like. Arr. The hype zone curse, curse is no joke. It's no it joke, is a but real you, thing. But he said you said you had five out of five wins. That is really impressive. Yeah. For to start off, yeah. Yeah, that is insane. <laughs> yeah. So uh, no man, <laughs> how does how does the subtitling work on your on your stream? Okay, so um, the subtitling. So there's a program or a website you can go to, uh, uh, pixelchat.tv. Pixel okay. Yeah, 
And you go in there and you can create an overlay in there. And it basically uses just your built-in voice recognition and, and types what you're saying on the screen. And you can add that to your XSplit or OBS overlay and it will give you instant subtitles. What I did extra on my stream was I added an accessibility where it starts off and turned off, but viewers can go in there and request it and it will automatically turn on. Interesting. Right. So people who are... So it's like, it's so like people can, can opt in or opt out yeah. of, yeah, of, the, of the subtitles. That's super cool. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's awesome that, for you to offer that. Um, can we talk, so obviously interactivity is a huge part of Mixer. Um, I hear your mods actually help you out with that. Can you, can you talk about that a bit? Yeah, so, okay, so, ooh, um, we really crash course ourselves uh, in the interactive um, part of Mixer. And I've been in constant contact with Richard, one of the programmers there at Mixer, uh, for the interactive. And um, so what we did, we I created an entire admin panel for my stream. One of the hardest things for me back when I streamed at the other platform was I can't switch. When I have the game controller in front of my face, I can't use the computer. So... Um, and mute my mic, and unmute my mic. Uh, turn my camera on and off um, without having to call one of my personal care assistants who worked for me. I'd have to be like, hey, can you come here for a minute? And everybody would have to get here and see that. And it was kind of embarrassing, you know? Yeah, yeah. I can't just switch it on and off like like normal. Well, uh, my, my buddy, I'm going to give him a shout out if he's watching, uh, Lance Muscles in chat. Uh, him and I got together with the programmers at Mixer, and uh, we really crash course ourselves. I created an entire admin panel where my editors and admin, or editors and some of my moderators can control my scenes on OBS for me. So they can switch my Be Right Back screen, they can start it up, they can end my stream, they can turn off, on and off interactive. Um, I also added the ability, this is, this is what I was working with Richard on, is that when you go to the dev lab in the interactive, or in the, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, in the dev lab interactive, you create a button, there's also a joystick icon that you can click on. Nobody uses it. Apparently, it's been like in beta for a while. Yeah. Well, what that allows you to do is allows a user or a viewer to control your mouse. However, it's extremely inaccurate right now because it's still in beta. But Lance and I, we wrote a special script to run on my computer and then programmed that into the interactive. So now, not only can they control my team on OBS, uh, my special, my, my top editors can help me control my mouse to help me accept friend requests on the fly and things like that. So we've done a lot of really crazy stuff with it so far. Awesome. That, that is teamwork. amazing. And Lance is actually in chat. Uh, yeah. as he's, he actually waved. So there you go. That is so cool. Yeah, <laughs> Lance, great job. That's, that sounds incredible, to be honest. Yeah. That's, what a smart idea, man. Exactly. Um, and actually, I see, I see Tara Velker in chat as yeah. well. Tara told me that you, you're a little into fighting games. You're a bit into fighting games. You want, like, what got you into those? Oh, man, I've been playing fighting games since, like, 1989. <laughs> uh, so I just, it's just something I've always loved. Uh, I've always had a passion for fighting games. My friends used to come over. Like we used to pile like, you know, 15 friends in my house overnight. And we just sit there and play like in-house tournaments and stuff like that. And then I started in 2009, I competed for the first time at Evo, um, got to like the third round. Uh, and then in 2015, you know, I won the Dead or Life five tournament at E3 in Los Angeles. Um, like Jeez. won the whole thing, which is awesome. Uh, so no, I love fighting games. Well, one of the cool things about this is I noticed that Mixer, so I played Street Fighter V the other day on, and had tons of views because there's no fighting game community on Mixer. And I, I was really shocked. And people are like, we really need a fighting game community here because everybody else is on, on the other platform. So one of the buddies that uh, Lady uh, Alper introduced me to is Def Gamers TV. And he loves fighting games. Uh, starting in maybe a couple weeks, is I'm going to give away prizes on my stream, and we're going to call it Mixer's Friday Night Fight. Oh, Ooh, I love it. That's be exciting. Yes. Make Ooh. that a thing. We need more yeah. fighting stuff on Mixer. I know, like, yeah. I, very few people do it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's awesome. And so you, you played a lot of Dead or... You, you won the Dead or Alive tournament, you mentioned. Um, what, uh, what is your favorite fighting game of all time? Ooh. Tough question, I bet. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God, tough God, questions. God, 
Oh God, Tecmo, Capcom, nobody hate me, please. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I, I honestly have to say Street Fighter. It's something that Street I just Fighter. grew up on, and and I know Street Fighter Five has its issues. I mean, definitely has its issues. I really don't like getting light punched out of a jump, um, mm. but uh, I'd, I'd have to say for sure, Street Fighter is yeah. my favorite series of all time. But but like King of Fighters and Fatal Fury. And Dead or Alive are like a very like tied at like second. That's awesome. Gosh, yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, you can't go wrong with Street Fighter. That's what I was, gonna, like I was exactly going to say that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's true. That's awesome. Uh, do you have uh, any tips or advice you'd like to give to new streamers? We we I find that we have a lot of viewers that are just kind of getting into streaming, mm -hmm. and I, I think they'd love to you know they'd love to hear what you had to say. Yeah, well, one of the great things is that um, that I like because I've been doing this for a while. Like that, I've, I've been streaming for about five years now, and I've worked in it. I'd like to offer the chat here, everybody at Mixer, since I, I have pretty much mastered the whole interactive stuff, feel free to come and ask me questions. Like, I am here for the community. Uh, you know, you guys, you know, a lot of streamers are turned off to, like, up to answering a lot of questions, but I actually enjoy it. I actually enjoy helping others. And, you know, if you got questions about interactive or how to get more viewers or social media, you know, expansion, things like that, you know, please, you know, feel free. I'm, I'm here for you guys. Nice. That's awesome. Good yeah, we, we've always heard um, whenever we ask that question, a lot of uh, the Mixer streamers have uh, said that they're open and willing to help yeah. new streamers. And I think that's super important for a good community um, for broadcasting and streaming. So that's, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, doing a lot of good that. investing in the community, kind of, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, Nomad, we have our question that we ask all of our streamers, and you're no different. So let's see. I hope you're ready. All right. Ooh. Okay. If you could invite three video game characters, any three you can think of, to dinner, who would they be and why? Why? Sorry. Oh my gosh. It's, it's tough. A, it's a tough, it's a tough one. Question. We asked the tough Every ones time. here on Tips and Tricks. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I think, I, okay. So one of my mains in Street Fighter is Blanca. Okay. And yeah. so I would invite him to dinner just because I think he would be really interesting <laughs> to talk to you. And he, I, I just have a feeling that Blanca's a foodie. And so <laughs> I'd be totally down to, to chat with him about that. Um, <laughs> Like, I don't know, I just I just picture him just sitting there with wine, even though he's like all green and, and scruffy looking. I just didn't know, oh yeah, this wine is, goes great with fish or whatever. You know? like, <laughs> just a normal conversation, even though, uh, yeah, that's funny. Right, right. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Oh, man. It's oh, tough. Oh man, let's see, that's, yeah, you know, because I, you know, I play everything, so it's like, yeah, That's a loaded question, man. You know, I, you know who I enjoy from Dead or Alive, Ryo Hayabusa, because uh, he also was Ninja Gaiden, Ninja yeah. Gaiden, depending on how you pronounce it. Yep. But he was actually he was a BA in that game. Yeah, yeah, that's a choice. Oh, choice. Yeah, yeah. Oh so, yeah, right. No, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I could definitely invite him over. Hey, like, hey, I got some guys I'd like you to take care of for me. You know? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Just uh, uh, definitely, I'm trying to think of a female character that would be interesting to sit down and have dinner with. Um, Ooh. But there's so many, though. So many. Yeah, no, uh, tough. Maybe your Fortnite character. It, sometimes it, I guess it, it rotates, right? They don't talk, you know? Oh, that's well, like maybe that's for the, the better. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's hard to get a personality on them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm, all about I'm more about personality than, than looks, I guess. So I mean, that's why I'm trying to think of, a, of someone that's just completely uh, awesome, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because we like yeah. I try to think of like people that haven't picked like what what characters have we not picked and what we get a lot of. Ooh, you so know? someone said Pac Man in chat, so maybe Mrs. Pac Man. Ooh, that would be home wrecker. That'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, home wrecker. Yeah, yeah I would worry. Uh, How about me? Sure. Oh. I, I'll, I'll come over. Yeah, for just dinner. invite Malik. Yeah, Malik could be the. I third. mean, honestly, that's all I do is eat and sleep, so I'd be great for your dinner. That's actually true. Yeah. That's a true. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Nomad, this has been fantastic. Can you tell us where and when we can watch your streams? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to be changing my schedule a little bit more. I'm okay. still, I've been still trying to finalize my schedule, but I will be on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Nice. Um, I'm shooting for 1 p.m. Pacific. Awesome. There you have uh, it. On all those days. So. Perfect, perfect. Nomad, this has been awesome, man. Thank you so much. Seriously. Thank you guys so much for having me. It's been a blast. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone give it up for Nomad. Yeah. Give it up for Nomad. Yes. So good. Yes.
Be sure to follow him. Like, yeah, it's it's amazing. He is very good. Like, he's great to watch at Fortnite. It's impressive. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, uh, a lot of the work that he's doing in the, in the accessibility realm is awesome. It's huge. We actually do the Community Minute on This Week on Xbox, um, and we featured Sightless Combat, who's an, another Xbox gamer who is, can't see, and yeah. he's great at playing games. And he's been on campus here helping. So I love how... The uh, that community is, is working together to make to make a the better games, yeah, to make Xbox yeah. Mixer better, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out uh, Lady Alpera, I see her in, in chat. Send some hearts her way and Nomad's way because these guys are, yeah. they're both doing a lot of great work for Mixer and, and Xbox all up.